The mother who promised to pick stars in space for her daughter has come back to Earth. I want to tell my daughter that mom is back after reaching for the stars. After six months on China's space station, the Shenzhou 13 crew landed safely in Inner Mongolia just before 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. It set a new record as China's longest single flight space mission. The return journey took about nine hours. That's only a third of the return trip of its predecessor, Shenzhou 12. The some 19-hour difference is due to a new procedure that shortens travel time. The ground tech crew says the probe used three parachutes as it approached Earth. This allowed for a reduced and controlled speed from 200 meters to 7 meters per second. Soon after landing, medical checks were conducted in the re-entry capsule. People outside waited with bated breaths as the Chinese flag waved in the wind. Jai Jigong was the first to emerge. I feel very good and report to the motherland and our people that we have successfully completed the mission of Shenzhou 13. Jai was followed by Wang Yaping, who is now known as China's first female astronaut to walk in space. Now we have returned to the motherland's embrace. I'm very happy. As the last crew member to step out of the capsule, Ye Guangfu's exit marked the successful completion of the Shenzhou 13 mission. My first time in space lasted six months, which was challenging. But my space dream has come true, and I can proudly report to the motherland. The crew had a hearty welcome, home meal of noodles, porridge, sausages and watermelon. Experts say they will be under special care as they need a period of time to readapt to Earth's gravity. The end of the Shenzhou 13 mission marks a whole new phase in China's space program. More manned flights are expected in 2022 as the country's space station takes shape. And as one daughter gets her wish for her mother to return from the stars, more stars await to be reached. Gerard Vermark, CGTN.